Tesla is now worth more than Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway. And that is just crazy to me. Elon Musk and Warren Buffett, to me, in my opinion, are like complete opposites. Warren Buffett is like super old school, very non-tech savvy. He is very conservative, in my opinion, where Elon Musk is more of a risk taker. Obviously, I mean, he's got like SpaceX and Tesla and he risked his entire net worth to make both of those a success. And he's got way more than just those two massive companies. He's very tech savvy. He is like an engineer. He's a genius and he's young money where Warren Buffett is old money. Now, again, this is my opinion, so don't hate on me too much, but Warren Buffett is older money. He's more established. He's less of a risk taker. So in this video, that's what we're going to be talking about. We're going to be going through the differences between Berkshire Hathaway and Tesla. So if that sounds interesting to you, then stick around, click that thumbs up button, and let's go ahead and jump into it. So right now, the Tesla market cap is $555 billion. Now, I'm shooting this on a Saturday, November 28th, but on Friday, when we had like a half day of trading, the Tesla market cap reached 567 billion as its all time high and then pulled back a bit. So now we're looking at 555 billion for the Tesla market cap. Berkshire Hathaway's market cap is 542 billion. Now, again, that is at the close of Friday. So as you can see, Tesla is worth more, a little bit more than $10 billion more than Berkshire Hathaway. Even though Tesla and Berkshire Hathaway are somewhat close, in the actual overall worth of their companies, the net worth of the owners is actually pretty far apart now that Elon Musk has really shot far past Warren Buffett in net worth. So Elon Musk's current net worth is about $129 billion and Warren Buffett's net worth is about $88 billion. I really do give a lot of props to Warren Buffett because the guy is like in his 90s, I believe. I'm not sure exactly how old he is, but he is still increasing his income, increasing his net worth, and overall just killing it for that age versus Elon Musk. I mean, he's in his prime and he's making a lot of money. He's got multiple balls in the air. He's at nowhere near retirement age where Warren Buffett is clearly like all up in retirement age. So Warren Buffett, man, big props to you for, for just killing it in your retirement age. I really hope that I still have the energy to be doing business and making significant increases in income when I'm in my 80s or even my 90s. All right, so I just did a quick Google search and Warren Buffett was actually born August 30th, 1930. So he just turned 90 years old just a few months ago. Elon Musk, on the other hand, his birthday is June 28th, 1971, and he just turned 49 this year. So definitely have a pretty big age difference between the two. Berkshire Hathaway's revenue in 2019 was $255 billion, where Tesla in 2019, their revenue was $29 billion. So about a 10th, Tesla did about a 10th of the revenue that Berkshire Hathaway did, but they are actually valued substantially more than Berkshire Hathaway. So that's pretty interesting. If we look at the two companies' assets, Berkshire Hathaway's assets is about 425 billion, and Tesla's assets is about 6.6 .6 billion. So a massive difference there in assets, but it makes sense that Berkshire Hathaway's assets are way more because they are an investment company, and basically their assets are ownership, cash, stocks, all that kind of stuff that uh, is meant to make money on top of itself. So you could kind of say that Berkshire Hathaway's entire business model is their assets versus Tesla, not so much. Now, as far as year-to-date overall growth, Berkshire Hathaway is up about 2% year-to-date and Tesla is up about 500% year to date. So during this year, obviously we've had a very rocky year for a lot of businesses and the downfall of a lot of businesses stock price and then it's swinging back up. So Berkshire Hathaway was definitely a victim to their stock price coming down due to a lot of the craziness of the virus versus Tesla. They did have a, a pullback, but it just exploded up even more. And especially very recently with the whole S&P inclusion, it has really exploded up a lot more just 
super recently. So if I was to gauge these two companies as an investment, I would say Berkshire Hathaway is definitely a low risk, low reward type of investment, and Tesla is a more high risk, high reward type of investment. Now, a lot of the Tesla fans out there may say, no, Tesla is super low risk, but you gotta admit, the stock is very volatile and it's not as established as Berkshire Hathaway as far as its revenue, its overall business model. I mean, it's launching new verticals, it seems like, pretty frequently and it is definitely still in its growth phase versus Berkshire Hathaway has already experienced its massive growth phase and now it seems to be a little bit more plateauing with a more steady growth. So if you were the type of investor where you're near the end of your working career and you're ready for retirement, Berkshire Hathaway may be a better investment for you in your retirement portfolio versus if you are just starting out in your working career and maybe you are in your 20s or 30s and you have a lot of time left to work and build your retirement portfolio, then maybe Tesla is a better investment for you because it's gonna have more time to mature and over these next 10, 20 years, I really think that Tesla is gonna go very far. It really could be comparable to Amazon with a trillion dollar market cap, comparable to Apple. It could be really ruling this world along the giants and I do believe Tesla is going to actually do it. I I am a massive Tesla fan, I'm a massive Elon Musk fan, I'm also a, a massive Warren Buffett fan. I just wanna make this quick video to compare the two. They definitely are worlds apart, very different investors, very different entrepreneurs and geniuses, really. So it's just pretty crazy though that Tesla is now worth more than Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway and Elon Musk is now worth more than Warren Buffett as well. So just both these guys are big idols for me, big inspirations, big motivation. I mean, these are massive numbers when you're looking at billions. So I definitely love to see how Elon Musk is taking his company and it's gonna be interesting to see how Warren Buffett transitions Berkshire Hathaway, how he gets more tech into his overall portfolio. I do know he has some people on his team that are very big into tech. So they are making that transition to a, a more tech heavy type of investment strategy. But thanks for watching. I hope you got value from this video. Click the thumbs up button and I'll catch you in the next one.